Well, not so long ago, tourniquets were considered as a last resort, and direct pressure indeed will stop most bleeding. But American casualties in Iraq and Afghanistan showed significantly better survival rates when tourniquets were used early in the treatment of a major hemorrhage. If it's obvious that arterial bleeding is occurring with bright red blood spurting out of the wound, you might consider a tourniquet as the first line of therapy. Hi, I'm Nurse Amy. You haven't gotten to see me yet in this. I want to talk a little bit more about tourniquets before I actually demonstrate how to use them. So where do you put a tourniquet? You're in an emergency, you're totally freaking out, and you look down and you say, oh my gosh, I'm bleeding. The most important thing is to get it close to the wound. You want to be just above it. So let's say we have a wound right here. We want to be about two to three inches right above the wound, but never on a joint. So you don't want to put it on your elbow or your knees. So that's a really important thing. Just remember, on tissue, not on joints. Now, another thing you need to think about when uh, you're putting on a tourniquet is the fact that, and of course I'm gonna show you how to use this, once you've tightened this and you see that the bleeding stopped, you may get something called pressure loss. Now, pressure loss happens usually about a minute after application. And what happens is the tissue underneath the tourniquet shrinks you can imagine that there's no more blood flowing from the heart to that tissue and sometimes the muscle itself actually relaxes and so the bleeding might begin again so it's important to really observe where the tourniquet is where the bleeding is maybe you've covered it up make sure that it doesn't start bleeding again so keep an eye on it especially at the one to two mark due to the pressure loss now let's talk about some goals for putting on a tourniquet you want to make sure that the bleeding has stopped and that the pulse has stopped if you can. Do not remove the tourniquet until the person is at the highest level of medical facilities available. That means you are not releasing and tightening that tourniquet over and over. Tourniquets are safe for up to two hours in place. Tourniquets should be transitioned to C-LOX or Quick Clot with a pressure bandage put on top of it before two hours if possible. Do not completely remove that tourniquet while attempting the transition. Splint the tourniquet limb to decrease movement and risk of rebleeding. Mark the patient with a giant T on the forehead with a marker or anything you have and the time on the tourniquet. And there's a couple of places you can do that. Thank you guys for listening. Bye.